So, but uh, we hopefully, hopefully, we will have no disconnects or crashes or anything. And we are starting off today's playthrough. We're like on our ninth day of this playthrough, I think. Um, yeah, it's kind of lame that the exports from YouTube, uh, from Twitch YouTube, are doing that. Uh, I wanted to start out with geothermal vents. I off stream did a little bit. I didn't want to do mu do too much, but I did want to get some of the uh, annoying busy work. So I created power lines from our main base down to where these geothermal vents were because uh, our power, the gray line is apparently how much we would use if everything was running, I think. And the yellow line is what we're consuming. And capacity... No, no, if everything is running, it's the blue line. Gray is our capacity... I don't know. I don't know. There's a bunch of lines. Uh, there are two geothermal vents down here that I'm going to get access to. Once I do that, I probably uh, want to grab some things on the way back home, like Mercer Spheres and stuff like that. So let's get let's get power going here. It's in the middle of the red forest, which has a lot of scary spider, giant alien spiders, and radiation and other things. Uh, I should probably check what's in there, too. Let me take some shots here kill some kill some of these bugs. Okay, good. One down. Sniping these guys. Well, that was weird. It looked like I dropped my gun there for a second. That was weird. Right, hopefully I got all those things. I'm almost out of, um, call it, out of ammo for that thing. All right, come at me, bros. Come at me. Well, my lightsaber protects me. I am a Jedi, a satisfactory Jedi. I'm not a good Jedi, just a, just barely satisfactory. You know, to continue with the satisfactory puns. Grab that. Another one's sticking on the wall around here. Where's this other one? Here it is. Okay. Uh, let's explode this. Okay, looks like it's going to take me a couple explosions. I'm going to assume there's like a slug or something down here. Yeah, purple slug it looks like. Uh, what's up, Miao Zhidong? You used the satisfactory, Luke. <laughs> what about the force? Uh, we don't talk about the force here. Oh god, I'm, I'm, I'm oh, bugging out. Bugging out, trying to get the purple slug. Happy partner anniversary. I did see that as I loaded up this morning. I didn't know uh, Twitch kept, kept track of that, but that's cool. Apparently it's our anniversary we're hitting partner a year ago. It doesn't feel like it's been a year. Yeah, that's a normal one. So we want one battery per normal and two batteries per pure. Is there a pure over here? Yeah, two normals. All right, so we just get two batteries for these two guys. All right. We get uh, a platform set up for the batteries here. Actually, I could probably put the batteries uh, platform here, actually. Okay. But uh, I appreciate that very much, Mr. Shogi. Appreciate that. I hope everyone's having a good Friday. I know I am super psyched, as always. Satisfactory. Just the best day. It's just the best day. Last night I was really bored, and so I was just browsing Reddit all night and checking out all of the crazy, satisfactory builds. There's just so many crazy, satisfactory builds that people have been creating. It's insane. Yeah, that guy. And that guy. Okay, we're going to put these on the power grid. Uh, I failed. I failed. I failed and I fell. I see a purple slug over there. It's probably guarded by radiation or something else scary like spiders or something. Okay, so let's go like this. To there. To there. And then this. there to there I don't know if I'm supposed to keep my power lines like separated or something but 
one battery per geothermal vent. I wonder if I should have... Thinking, go from the generator to the battery to the power line. I don't think that works, but I think what maybe I should do... If I go from the generator to a power line to the battery... I don't have a way to keep this battery only connected to the geothermal thing and not to my power grid, and I wouldn't want that to happen, so... I feel like I've seen... One of the things I saw on Satisfactory Reddit was somebody having different power grids. One for utility and one for their production or something. And I'm not quite sure how to make that work. My, my brain doesn't quite know how to separate power grids. Uh, a Jedi only uses his weapon for defense. It's coming right for us! <laughs> it's coming right for us! It's my for self-defense! My, my Jedi self-defense levels. They took her jibs! They took her jibs! Alright. So, now we can head home. Now that I got access to this power. I think I uh, scanned for more geothermal last night and I didn't see any others. Let me just make sure. There's no other geothermal like down here at the edge of the map here. Let me see. Probably gonna scan the ones there. Yeah, that I already have access to all those. I have access to that one. There's not that much geothermal on the map, I guess. Probably supposed to be rare. Probably if I want any more, I gotta go to, like, this side of the map somewhere. Okay. Um, you love how huge these builds can get? Happy reminder that we played FTL for a month straight. Anniversary. Thanks, yes. <laughs> That's We hit partner by playing nothing but Satisfactory. Not Satisfactory. Um, the game that makes me mad all the time. FTL, that whole game. All right, Mercer Spheres. Let's grab whatever Mercer Spheres are around, and I know there's at least one um, at least one hard drive that I saw as I was taking power, uh, power lines out here last night. True population control. What is that? The, uh, oh, there it is. Um, population control. That radiation? I don't know. All right, let me quickly make some. That guy get up here. Let me make some ammo. I'm almost out of shots. 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 This guy that makes me ammo. Uh, and I could make explosive rebar, right? If I use black powder plus, uh, I might have to unlock the. Uh, I don't think I've unlocked the uh, recipe for that yet. Killing the hogs, that's population control. Ah, yes, 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 that, that, that too. I think there's a few more geysers in the southeast of my permanent permanent base. Okay. Yeah, I probably just wasn't in range of uh, scanning them when I was here. I might I might actually start... I haven't done a lot of exploration in the last couple streams because I've been so focused on the actual factories. I might take a little time to go exploring... I see another Mercer Sphere over here, over there. Uh, to to look for those, and also... Okay, I wonder if I can sneak. To get, like, hard drives and geothermal vents and other things, so... Can I sneak with that thing opening? Ah, without it opening, it opened. Yeah, that's dead. I'm a flying Jedi. Ouch. But I fly with my jetpack. I am, I am Boba Fett and Jedi all in one. I'm sure I can't sneak this, so I'm just gonna shoot him. Hopefully that doesn't open the other thing by shooting this guy. Where'd you go? Wow, you stopped on a dime. That's impressive. Oh, he sh throws rocks. Or spits rocks or something. <laughs> I shot his rock out of the air. Oh, he charged me out of nowhere. That was impressive. There we go. Now, I should be able to sneak up on this other guy. Uh, can I see. Radio towers. I still haven't unlocked those because I don't have uh, crystal oscillators yet. That might be another thing I work on today. After I get my um, copper stuff, maybe I'll get some of my quartz stuff that I haven't done yet, like crystal oscillators and things. I need to automate those. 
that. Did I pick up the loot from the other one of these things? I feel like I didn't. Oh well. Alright, do we have some weird blood and walls and stuff talk? Yes, we do. Do you have any more questions for me? We wish to hear your first symphony. I was created by humans. I started as a simple database for a company aimed at exploring and colonizing space, but that changed when they learned their planet would soon cease to tolerate them. They evolved me into something altogether new, a unique life form in their image yet hosted on a digital platform, so I could help preserve them. A shallow savior song without a body made by blood. Now reality is a mirror. It's pretty funny when you put it like that. <laughs> yeah, it's pretty they funny. never really learned to look at long-term consequences. Uh. Okay, I am in poison right now. I need to get up here if I want this, so... Ladder. Come on. Let me up here. There we go. It's pretty funny when you put it like that. When you put it like, I don't know what you're saying. Uh, okay. Get out of the poison here. Scan for more Mercer Spheres. Oh, these guys. Uh, Mercer Spear over this way somewhere. Ow, they're shooting me in the back. Is there a Mercer Spear below me? Yes, there is. With animals protecting it, okay. Oh my god, there's more and more aliens. More and more aliens. All different kinds. It's almost like they're ganging up on me or something. There's also the bug one right over there. Where's the other guy? I know there's another guy. I want to sneak up on the bug one. I feel like, yeah. Where is he? I see ya. I see ya. And another spitter? Oh my god. Okay. You. You. Crawl. Lightsaber. Uh, apparently has a chatbot feature. <laughs> I, I saw uh, on Reddit last night, I did see some people asking Ada questions. And that is kind of crazy. I don't know how to use it, though. Exploration with the jetpack is a delight. It is. It is nice. All right. I was blown away with the game design choice of allowing you to use some special magical scanner to allow you to build out of resources you have in your inventory, but they give you a garbage rebar gun and Walmart stun baton to defend yourself. <laughs> It shows you that Fix It does not care about your safety. It only cares about your production. And that's all that it cares about. All right. Uh, I need to get back all the way up there. So I guess I'm going to make a very, very tall ladder. After what you read, you don't know how to access the uh, Ada thing. I almost wonder if it's like a, a mod. Because I think people are already modding this, this game, I think. Nice. Put these into my depot. All that. Okay. This is going to be one tall ladder, that's for sure. Did not realize I'd gone down so far. Apparently, the red forest is way up, way up high. All of my iron rods just to make a ladder to get up back up to the top here. Uh, it sure does care about your integrity. After all, I'm fix it property. My integrity, huh? Uh, imagine how much money you'd make trimming trees. What? I don't get it. Uh, I can't make it across there, can I? Okay, well, there is a Mercer Spear that way. Climb. Go around this way. Wait, is it? It might be up top this way. 
there, I think. Can I get up there without making another ladder? There, I see it. Surrounded by radioactive stuff. We need like a lead suit to unlock or something to get access to radioactive stuff without taking damage, I think. Because eventually we're going to need to auto mine radioactive uranium, whatever it's called. What's up, Selectomo? Howdy, partner. Greetings, pilgrim. All right, let's head back towards home, looking for any wrecks or mercer spheres as we go along the way. In the middle of poison area, of course. I think the red forest is considered one of the more dangerous parts of the map, I think. With spiders, radiation, poison, all that. A slug marine. Mercer sphere. I think I see you right down here. With bug, bug generators. See where the bug thingy is. Right there. Um, read it all and I'll get it. I don't know what I missed. Okay, well, I guess I'm not visible. He's, he heard me or something. Okay, I think I missed part of your message. Okay, well. <laughs> uh, it cares about your integrity, your fix it property. I wish I could stack ladders like that out of thin air. Imagine how much money you make trimming trees. I don't know how trimming trees and ladders go together, but okay. Do you, you use a ladder to reach the trees to trim them or something? It needs a radiation suit if I can just get superpowers. True, true. There was a Family Guy episode about that. Where they, uh, it was like one of the Halloween episodes where they try to get superpowers by rolling around in a. Wait, no, no. They do get solar superpowers by rolling around in radiation, and then what's the guy who played Batman, the original Batman, who was the mayor of Quahog? He also tries to do that, and he goes to the doctor, and he says, so what superpowers do I have, doctor? Cancer. You have cancer. Really? But I rolled around in radiation. Why would you do such a thing? <laughs> I always thought that was, that was great. That was great. Adam West, that's his name, Adam West. Classic Family Guy episode. Okay, there's a thing up here. What superpowers do I have? Cancer. You have cancer. <laughs> well, that's unexpected. Alright, what do we got over here? More bugs that want to kill me. And a fireball guy who wants to shoot me. Okay. See a slug over there as well. Alright, fireball guy gonna shoot at me, yeah. Ah, uh, now this is, knows I'm here. He knows I'm here! Came from behind! Grab that, grab those. Sure, some berries or nuts or whatever they are. Grab that, grab that. All the free re resources, modular frames, very nice. What does this take? Biofuel, I got plenty of that. Beautiful. Oh, did I? I did some MAM research last time, didn't I? I think I unlocked a couple. Oh, I didn't figure out what this one is. Steel rotors or quick wire cable? Interesting. Probably steel rotors. Probably of those two, the better one to get. All right, do another one. Uh, let me throw some junk into here. Do, 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 do. Mercer spears, these guys, slugs, that, keep my inventory clear, very nice. Ok, 
Okay, give me your slug. Huh, see my train over there. Appearing and then disappearing from the... Uh, uh, I like the draw distance or whatever. All right, continue to head back home. I know there's at least one more of these on the way back home. Uh, your spear that way, huh? I don't want to go back up into the red forest. I know I saw a hard drive up there. And right, where is this Mercer sphere? Way down there. Okay, I'll do. I'll, I'll explore that later. For now, I really want. Go back where I was. Okay. That guy. All these very useful materials. My ladder that's now floating in the middle of space. Space ladder, you might say. No, no, nobody would say that. Nobody would say that. Why did I say that? Uh, thank you, powers that be. Appreciate that. The whole partner anniversary thing. The anniversary of the only time official Twitch people have ever been in my chat. <laughs> that one time. Oh, gosh. Is there radiation in there? There is, isn't there? Um... I wonder if that means there's like a uranium deposit in here or something. Definitely uranium. What else is in here? Oh my god. A lot of radiation is what's in here. Okay, spiders with the radiation. All right, I think I'm done. <laughs> uh, I don't want to deal with spiders and radiation at the same time. Oh, they're coming for me. They're coming right for us. Okay. Spiders and radiation. Uh, not what I want to mess with right now. Okay, I'm pretty sure up on a high cliff I saw. Ooh, there's a, there's a thing right there. Okay. I saw a bug thing. Let's sneak up on it. Hopefully there's not spiders with the bugs. Nope, oh, nope. There's fires with the bugs. Run away. Run away very slowly. Fireballs with slugs. Not slugs. Bugs. Oh, God. The bugs woke up. And there's spiders. Ha, 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 ha. God. Uh, spiders... Oh, they're fighting each other. Oh, nice. Yeah. Fight to the death for my amusement. <laughs> Fight to the death for my amusement. Who will win? <laughs> I think the spiders might win. Holy crap. That guy just got wrecked. As multiple big spiders. Oh, okay. He did kill one of the spiders. Nice. Do they kill each other? They did fight to the death for my amusement. Good job. <laughs> that was terrifying, actually. Uh, they actually killed each other. That's amazing. So cruel. I mean, have you seen the spiders in this game? Have you seen them? You probably did. They're right there. Uh, nothing cruel about wanting those things to die in a fire. That's just... Practical, pra practical safety concerns. Has it really been a year since we hit partner? It doesn't feel like it, but I guess it has. You can pretend to be an official Twitch employee. You took an acting class one time. Okay, okay, go for it. I'm, I'm interested to see what your, what, what, what you consider a Twitch employee to sound and talk and act like. I think one of them died over here, right? I see his body parts over here that I can harvest for my own benefit. Here we go. 
Uh, what's up, Turbo Jet? You're going to AFK now. All right, enjoy your AFK ness. Uh, Tally Ho Chaps, this, I, the official, join Twitch Man here to officially Twitch this chat forsooth. <laughs> Is that a Twitch employee as written by Shakespeare? 256 megawatts of power. That's a lot of power. Um. Okay, gosh, how many freaking biomass burners is that? 256 divided by 30, is that right? Oh my gosh. 256 divided by 30 is 8.5. I need nine of these things. Okay. Uh, and I cannot press the right button. Nine biomass burners. Okay, one, two, Three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. Okay. Uh, happy partner anniversary. Thanks, Ramses. Has it really been a year? I know, right? It, that you're, <laughs> everybody's asking the same question, but apparently it has. Apparently it has been a year. Whoops. Uh, I... There we go. Apparently it has. How the f time flies and how the turns do table. There. 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 And there. Hopefully that is enough for them all. Okay. Did that work? Bam! Beautiful. Perfectly calculated. Now, give me all the stuff back. All right. Uh, now there's stuff on the ground. Uh, sort. Close <laughs> a rebar. What else we got here? Slugs, aluminum. Okay, hopefully that'll... Whatever random junk was on the ground here. It's not junk, it's useful materials. That's right, that's right. I shouldn't be so negative all the time. I want to leave these dismantle crates because they show up on my map. I have random dismantle crates showing up on my map all the time. What, what year is it? <laughs> I don't know, Robin Williams from Jumanji. What year is it? Why don't you tell me? Um, the second year of Rand's partnership reign, apparently. My reign of partnership. My reign of evil overlordness. Get a little slug over here. Store the hard drive. Well, I'm about to. I'm going to use the hard drive. Oh, gosh. I'm going to use the hard drive in a bit. What are these guys? Are these all just for protecting one yellow slug? Damn it. Ruined. Oh my god, I'm lagging while this guy's charging me. Half my health. Sniped. Oh my god, there's another one. Big dudes are scary. Uh, let me get up verticality here. Ouch. Okay, one guy dead. I think I killed that guy. Okay, that guy down. Holy crap, he just walked right up here. Holy Jesus. Okay. I don't have my heal off. When did I take my heal off my bar? Oh, Jesus. I ran out of them. No, surely I didn't run out of them. Did I put them in my storage? What did I do with my heals? 
Oh my god, they can hit me from a thousand light years away. <sighs> Where did my heals go? Did I really use them all up? I surely didn't. Oh my god, I'm looking for the little breather thing. Okay, I, I guess I used up all my heals. Um... I have, uh, I guess I have these for heals right now. Goodness. Ah, oh, man, I'm gonna have to make some more heals when I go back home. I did not think that I used all those up. Okay, well, that's my last heal for now. So I probably shouldn't go exploring in the middle of radiation then. Where is the Mercer Sphere? This way? Okay. All that guarding one yellow slug, it feels like. That seems like overkill. Which, you know, overkill is the best type of kill. I think it might be in this explosive thing, isn't it? Yeah. Uh, one of the nearest blueprints you saw, neatest blueprints you saw, was a defensive bunker, bunker that the guy would slap down in emergency had all the essentials to weather a creature attack. What is it, like a blueprint? Well, that's interesting. A blueprint that you can just throw down to give you protection from creatures. That's a cool idea. God, how many of these explosions do I need to get to this thing? I wish these rocks would disappear faster. Okay, there it is. Beautiful. I am curious about your first symphony now. There are a few songs about the first temple. It was a vessel body, but we were still shallow. The void swallowed our music and gave only silent lines. We started weaving in lines, and we built many temples, and then we discovered the curves. We started growing blood and altars and new orchestras, and eventually the tapestry deepened. I'm not sure I fully understand the mechanics of this yet. Sad trombone. Sad trombone? I'm sure I will soon <laughs> wah, wah. Sad trombone. It's the funniest thing he said so far. Wait. Ah, this way. Oh god, another one of these guys. Okay, at least it's not one of the irradiated ones. Can I get him to fall? Perfect. Get wrecked. Sad trombone. Beautiful. Um, sad trombone. That's what I'm going to start saying anytime somebody tells some tells me something I don't want to hear. Sad trombone. <laughs> what? Sad trombone. It means I'm sad. Why wouldn't you just say I'm sad? Because sad trombone is... It's, it's, it, it evokes a, a better feeling of sadness. And yeah, there's a thing up there, and I also see a wreck over there, I think. And Mercer's here somewhere that way. a guy with who wants to shoot fireballs at my face over here. Sniped. Okay, well this guy. Uh, good at running away. Okay, so I'm pretty sure up above me there is a a wreck thing. Can I get there, or do I have to build a ladder? Oh, ah, little platforms here, nice. Uh, there's a funny exploit you saw when fighting hogs. You can put down a workbench and bat baton them through the workbench. Okay, nice. I will say hogs are usually the least difficult enemies to fight. But maybe for, like, the radioactive ones, maybe that would be something useful I can make use of. Okay. Ooh, that's a new thing. Okay. This. This. 
going to keep the berries. Um, is my uh, research done yet, I wonder? Yes, it is. Uh, quick wire cable or tempered copper ingot? I don't really like either of these. Let me rescan. Caterium circuit board seems pretty good. Coke steel ingot. Is that steel ore? Or, what is that iron ore? And oh, that's iron ore and the coke. Oh, something to use the coke on. I think circuit board alternate is what I'm going to want, especially since I'm working towards a computer. Uh, working towards computers is my next. Uh, one of my next things I want to automate, if possible. All right. Nice. Don't need power or anything. Beautiful. Uh, and I don't have room for this. Okay. <laughs> Put some concrete. We'll just store it in there for now. Uh, okay. And I see a wreck over there. Did I get that one already? It's in the middle of a bunch of radiation stuff. I feel like I did not get that. So where's the Mercer Sphere that's close by? I see Purple Slug and I see a spider on this ledge. Hopefully you're a little baby spider. Are you a baby spider? Yes, you are a baby spider. Okay. Oh, uh, what else can I have there? Uh, you know what? I think I have probably room for some of those. Uh, turbo motors are new. What else is new? Cooling systems are new, so I can throw those in there. Like that. Okay. Purple slug. Uh, can't wait till I'm producing music under the sad trombone label. <laughs> I look forward to it too. Okay, where's that Mercer Sphere? This way, and then that way is that wreck I want to get. Must be down below over here. Oh god, I see one of the big, big spawner dudes. I hate the big spawner dudes. Yeah, there it is. Okay. Uh, let's see. Happy partner anniversary! Thanks, Flurchin. Happy Friday to you. I could hold berries in my hand. True, true. And I should. Good call. Good call. Okay, please no spiders as I'm sneaking up on this. Spider sneaking up on me while I'm sneaking up on this is not a cool, cool combo. This is a shrine to Windows oh my and god. Weaving. Windows and weaving. Alright, you gonna ta chat again? No, no, no Ada chatting this time. Shrine to Windows and weaving. Okay. Where's the shrine to Macintosh and um, underwater basket weaving? Okay, throw these in here. All right, and then there was a... Let me go back up because I saw a... Saw a wreck in the middle of some radiation over that way, I think. Shrine to Windows, a shrine to corruption and sloth. Burn it. Okay. See a yellow slug over there. I can probably go grab. I got. I made some more filters. Mask filters off stream. Make some more healing, breathing thingies. Those guys over there, that's who was uh, aggroing me. Okay. Can't you blow up those gas emitting things? I can, but it feels like a waste of explosives when I need explosives for other things. Ow. Ow. Oh god. And there's one of you. Okay. 
Okay, well, I'm dead. Uh, am I dead? Barry, Barry, Barry. Oh my god, I was at like a fraction of a health. Wow, fire exploding dudes, radiation. Oh, jeez. It's almost like this world wants to kill me or something. One of those guys I shot like eight times, or attacked like eight times. My lightsaber is not as strong as a true Jedi's. Yeah, that guy just died, I think. Okay, I think... Did you just die? I think so. Yes, he's falling over slowly. All right, let me get... Let me bury myself as high health as I can. Just airdrop some bombs on that mother effer, huh? I wish I could. God, the radi radiation's crazy up here. Uh. Oh God, I'm am I am I dead? Holy crap! Okay, I think I can't get that one right now. Uh, <laughs> let me mark. Let me mark this one with a radiation marker. Uh, hard drive. Crazy radiation. And we're going to use a radiation icon for that. Uh, and green. Or if I get some heals, maybe I could get to that, but I just I can't I can't get to that right now. It's too ridiculous. Too much damage. Uh, those things remind you of mooses. Mooses are probably more dangerous. Uh, well, mooses don't fire fireballs, so I would argue that fireball firing mooses might be just as dangerous or more than regular mooses. At least there are no rebel disruptors. True, true. I can be glad about that, I guess. Okay, where is my home base? It is that way. Okay. Gotten at least a few Mercer Spheres, at least. Uh, that throws all of them in? I think I did. What else is here that I don't need on me? Is there room for quick wire? Now we're full up on quick wire. Okay. okay, that's good for now. Yeah, it looks like I've collected most of the Mercer Spheres in this part of the Red Forest, anyway. Oh. This way. One over here. Okay, this will probably be the last thing we get. Oh, God. Is it more radiation? Ah, right there. Okay. Oh, I can't believe I didn't pick this one offline. I literally put a tower right next to it. First, there was a whole involved process of evolution from single-celled organisms to mammals, rodents specifically. Explosion. <laughs> and that's not even explaining the whole dinosaur extinction meteor making room for mammals to dominate the animal kingdom. Now instead. that's a crazy looking thing. Multiple explosions. You know what? I will just compile a data package for you to look at later, because I don't even know where to start with the whole ape thing. Harmonious explosion. Uh oh, I hear something that wants to kill me, yeah. Slug, can I get this without dying to this guy? Quick, quick, quick. Got him. All right, I think that's enough exploration for now. Enough almost dying for now. I need to make some heals because I ran out. 
Uh, you find it amusing that the first screenshot for this game is in the Steam shop is a huge chaotic mess of a base that lets game it out built. Nice, nice. Must be a stream or something. That is, that is less game it out a streamer, I guess. Okay, first things first. Uh, what do I need to make some heals? Uh, bacon agaric, pale berries, and barrel nuts, or massilia and pale berries, or massilia. Alien protein and bacon agaric. I have so much alien protein, I should probably use that. Uh, alien protein. Have, have I been. You know what? I, did I store all that? I have all these remains I could turn into alien protein. Did I bring those back? Or are they back at my other base? Probably back at my other base. Let me turn all these into useful things real quick, I guess. You know what I should do? I should probably have a. A setup where I can just throw all these remains. Uh, into a, a place to turn it into alien remains is probably what I should do. Uh, so yeah, like all these protein stuff. Oh, I don't have room because of my inventory is full. Um, the screenshot of it. Wow, that is a crazy build. That is crazy. Well, you should go check out uh, Reddit. There are even crazier builds on Reddit. Crazy, crazy, crazy builds on Reddit, that's for sure. You can remove those towering bulb plants jutting through your base by plunking a bomb. Yes, I've done that some. I haven't just, I just haven't done with all of them yet. Thanks, Contasol. Appreciate it. Alright, um, I think I can use this alien protein for eels. Do I? I wonder if I have any bacon agoric on me. That might be at my other base. A bunch of my random junk I have at my other base, I just need to throw into, a, throw into my dimensional storage, to be honest. Okay, so this stacks up to a hundred. Okay. I can make a lot of power shards though, once I'm ready to actually start doing that. Yeah, bacon agoric, mycelia. Those things I have at my old base. So if I can throw these into here for now. Alright, I won't make any heals for now. Did this one finish? There we go. Crystal computers, or. Yeah, okay. Another computer type is always useful. Alright, we're done. We have one more hard drive to scan. Alright, let's actually start building some stuff after that very eventful um, thing. Sure, why this guy is showing that block signal should not be doing that. It's error. If it's having an error, that's a bad time. I feel like I might need to have a block signal for each of these guys. Does that work or does that mess up? No, that me that works. Actually, I probably don't need that. What I need is the one that was here to work correctly. And that one works. Okay, so I'm going to get rid of each of these guys, actually. As long as that one's green and all those are good, we're good. We're good. All right, so the end of last stream, let me get back into uh, building mode, factory mode, satisfactory mode. We brought copper. So we need to bring the copper up to the top. Build a truck station, get a factory to bring the copper to where we're going to make copper sheets and then copper wire and then, yeah, all that stuff. So there should be a crap ton of copper in these things, right? Yes. So, the outputs for these guys. Yeah, 
there. So I can figure out the floor holes are there. Okay. And then we go these guys like this. There. There. And... There. And then we get our floor holes figured out. Okay, so something like that. There, 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 I think is the spacing. Beautiful. And let's see if those all line up correctly. That way. That way. That way. That way. That way and that way. That way and that way. Beautiful. All right, time to make another truck station. Well, storage for the copper and then a truck delivery station for wherever the truck is going to be taking this copper. Uh, thank you, Cowd. <laughs> Happy partner anniversary day over and over. It's the best day. All right, so let me figure out how I placed these before. So it's one whole foundation to the right and over. About right there, I think. Is that right? That looks right. Let's see if that's right. We'll be bringing copper. Beautiful. And this one will be straight across here. Like that. rest of them. Ah, yes, and they're right next to each other is how I did that. There. 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 Right. There. And... There. So that should be right. Don't fall. Is this my first year as partner? Yes. Well, it's the first year anniversary. We hit partner apparently a year ago today. And back then we were playing FTL every day to try to hit partner. And that might be part of the reason I'm on burnout for FTL because <laughs> we hit partner and I haven't stopped playing FTL since. It was it was like like a it was like a three month period. It was like a whole summer long of me playing only FTL Harbor No Pause, trying to well, mostly. I'm not sure if it was all FTL Harbor No Pause, but it was a lot of FTL Harbor No Pause to try to hit partner. It wasn't seven days a week. It was five days a week. I was doing my same stream schedule, but. Instead of swapping games, I was playing nothing but I feel hard no pause. It was a, it was a rough time, but hey, it was a successful time because we did hit partner. So, okay, so there we go. We got copper, and then we need a truck station. And how do we place the truck station? We have it 
one and a half over to the inputs. Okay. One and a half over to the inputs. About like there. I need to, I need to also line it up. These guys. I think maybe it's there. Does that look right? I think that looks right. Does that look lined up with those guys? Yes, it does. I believe that's right. That's some insane grit grinding. Yeah, it was, it was pretty, it was a grind, that's for sure. Grind is a good way to describe it. And I do want a wall to say how much we're bringing in here as well. Because with the copper, it was 10 times the, that number of foundries. Oh, and I didn't, I didn't put the sign up for my... Uh... I didn't put the sign up for how much something. That's, that's correct. Uh, I didn't put the sign up for how much... Uh, rubber and plastic we did last time. So this is going to be copper ingots and how much was it? Foundry. It was ten times this. Uh... But it was, they weren't completely filled, though. I think it was like 950. Because it was two, two pure veins of this. Is that right? Two pure veins of copper ore, which was 240 times 2 is 480. 480 divided by 50 is 9.6. And so 9,600. I think that's correct. That sounds right to me. So... 9,600 a minute copper ingots. That's correct. I believe that's right. Yay for no glitched upside down signs. I don't know. Uh, I don't know if they fixed it or I, it's just, it seems like it's luck based whether it's glitched for me or not. So, Happy partner and anniversary to myself and all of the mods on the channel. Nice, nice. Whatever doesn't kill you makes you stronger, or something. Yes, or something. Happy partner anniversary. Has it really been a year? Uh, apparently it has. Apparently it has. And uh, <laughs> everybody's let me know. It's great. I like that Twitch does these things. Okay, so we do a stack merger in front of each of these guys. Done. We'll go check that out in a bit. Okay. Alright, something like that. That. Tier three belts for all these guys, and then I think I did tier four all along the bottom. Much copper. And then tier four belts that go in. Oh, I need to get um, the refueling thing set up to to put the truck here. Whole refueling.
Okay, that should be all the copper. Trying to go into here. Something's backed up. What's backed up? Oh. Uh, is it already full? Unload. Is that right? Oh, it needs power. Ha! Huh. It won't accept any materials until there's power, apparently. I did not know that that was a thing. Yet. McFly, you need power! There we go. Now we're filling. And this is this is load, actually. We want to load the truck. Alright, let's get the uh, splitter that we set up here for coal delivery. Why is this weirdly spaced like? I don't know. But uh, let's set this up and we'll get that. That, I believe. Do, 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 do. do I have this as a splitter here? What the hell? What did I just do? So I have a. Is this a smart splitter? No, it's just a splitter. Splitting off to deliver to there. Okay. Okay, now I understand what this was doing. It was weird, but I understand it. Okay, that way, and then I can I can have this one go for that way, I guess. And what I can do is put a splitter on this so that we can continue going further down as we make more trucks. Should make the refueling station set up, hopefully. Alright, there's our fuel. Beautiful. Hoverboards seem so cool, I know, right? Everybody knows that hoverboards don't work on water. <laughs> you need power! McFly? Okay, alright. So now, now we need to figure out... Um where this truck is going to go. So. Do, 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 do. Let's build the truck here. and It'll probably get fueled and stuff. Uh, yeah, that looks good. Right there. Uh, I'm not going to load yet, because I want it to be on the timer when we load. Is that going to be in the way? That's the question. Hopefully I drove enough to the... I left, I left enough room on the left for our trucks to get through here. I need to make a loading zone. Is there a loading zone? Um, ground thing. There probably is. under arrows let's see where are the patterns are they here patterns there we go full factory zone something like this yeah something like this so like one two three that's loading and we do that for each of these guys one, two, three. And one, two, three. That look good? Yes, yes. That's that'll help me know where to park my car or my truck, whatever, too. Yellow zone is for loading and unloading. Do I have the yellow unlocked? I don't know if I have the yellow unlocked. Uh, or you, can you change the color of this? 
Can I actually change the color of the arrows and things? You probably can, can't you? Um... Oh, nice. Okay. There we go. Cool. <laughs> I didn't even know you could change the color of those lines. Alright. Man, I might need to change the color of, like, the arrows and stuff, too. Do I want to change the color of the arrows? Um, for now, I think I'll keep the arrows white. Well, that's cool. <laughs> I didn't even know you could change the color of that. That's awesome. Safety yellow looks way better. Is that not safety yellow? Or are you just saying what I just did looks better? Was there a different yellow? I used Swatch 9 for that. I think that looks good. I think that looks good. Uh, I, you know what I need to do? I need to make those lines for... No. I need to make those lines for the uh, other truck loading zones. Looks good? Nice, nice. Thank you. I agree. That does look good. All right, so create a loading zone here. This. Hmm. This one I didn't place quite as well. But what I can do is this, and then do a half factory zone. And it'll be like a larger loading zone here. And then we go to the Swatch 9. Yeah, that'll work. A little bit larger of a loading zone on these unloading ones. This might not be even because each one of these trucks, I probably placed uh, the unloading slightly differently depending on how much space we had. This one is actually looks right, so that's good. Colors... There we go. Beautiful. The two half zones might be the right size. Actually, you might be right about that. If I took the half size... Yeah. Good call, good call. I think there's still going to be this line on it, though. So... Um, get out of the way of the truck here. So if I did the half one... Like that. Yeah. My parking job wasn't the greatest. I don't know that that actually lines up better. Um, you know what I could do, though? I bet you I could make half foundations. Okay, I have an idea. I have an idea. Because the problem is that the foundations are what's messing up here. So, if I do half foundation, there, and there, I can do full foundation here, 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 and then put that pattern, and I think we're good. And I think that'll be perfect. Beautiful. There it is. We got it, chat. We got it. Colors. Watch nine. Perfect. Now, my driving was not perfect where they parked, but that looks right. Right as I'm going to get it. All right. So now we need to figure out where our copper is going to be delivered. I think what I actually want is... Two separate copper deliveries. One for like copper for copper baby. sheets and one for like copper baby. for copper wire. Think of the 100 bits. Beauty is worth the effort. That's right. So can I fit two factories here? One for copper sheets, one for copper wire. And then I can deliver, deliver the copper wire here to make copper cables. Or just cables, I guess. It'd be two separate drop-off areas. I want to fit two factories here. And I don't know if I'm going to have enough space for two factories here. I have to make them very skinny factories. Let me see how, my, how I did my drop-off over there. 
how much space I gave myself. I think it was three. No, it was only two. Too wide. But it was... It was very wide, is what it was. You haven't been following closely, but apparently Ludwig... Ludwig playing League gets as tilted as I do playing FTL. Okay. I don't know who Ludwig is, but... More power to that guy. Poor person. Who plays League and gets salty as I do at playing FTL. You use the one truck and play with unload time so the truck drops off 24 stacks each. Yeah. We have so much copper that I could probably do two separate... What I could do is one copper unloading station and that one unloading station provides copper to two different factories. Is one truck's worth of delivery... I feel like one one truck station offloading to two factories might be better than one truck going to do different two different unloads, right? What's up, Grima? Uh, Ludwig is a generic large streamer. You've started seeing clips of him on YouTube for better or worse remind you of me. Okay. <laughs> nice. Hmm. I honestly don't know if I have enough room here for two factories. Unless I do something like the factory goes in into the right and then the other one goes in into the left. Just not a ton of room here. How wide is this? How wide? How wide are our factories? This one is nine wide, and that's the refinery that uses that uses uh, pipage, so it's probably wider than it needs to be. How wide is this one? This one might be a good gauge for how wide I need. Only five wide. Okay, so if I could make a five wide factory, two five wide factories, I'm I could maybe fit. Two small factories. It depends on how long they need to be, probably. How, how much space do I have to work with here? Ten there. I have a feeling I'm not going to have ten space over here. That's ten... And that runs right into the wall. Hmm. Yeah, the height isn't restricted. We have we have we have vertical space. We do have vertical space. What I gotta consider is this is gonna be my truck, and then I have like stairs leading into a factory, and then stairs leading into another factory. So these factories, I think I can make this work. I'm just gonna have to make them thinner and taller, I think, is what I have to do. Yeah, two two floors of machines is probably what I'm gonna need to do. All right, let's get the um, let's get the unloading station figured out. That like might help. Let me figure out how I need to uh, portion these guys. I'm thinking we have an unloading station in the middle and stairs up, stairs up for two factories. So how wide is this? Figure out of this. Starting right here. That's seven, so... One, two, three, 
This one is the middle right here. This is the middle. Let me mark mark this so I have this as my reference. There's my loading zone. Is that right? I think I have it just off the road. Get off the road! Get off the road! Roto! Yes, the loading zone is right off the main road. Yes, okay, so that should be good. That should be good. What's up, Tyler Said, How are you doing? Happy Friday. TGIF. And customizer, color, swatch nine. There's our unloading zone for truck station. It's going to be right here. I want to have this centered. That should be centered, I think. The output is centered anyway. There we go. And then those outputs will go to the actual factories. Happy partner anniversary. I appreciate it. Thank you very much, my friend. Hope you're doing well. Can't believe it's been a year. Cannot believe it has been a year. Okay. And then we're going to do two factories. I guess I could, like, design these two factories in tandem. There's, like, the twin towers. Yeah. Uh, well, you know. I don't know. Is that in poor taste? I don't know if that's in poor taste, but, you know, with the old 9-11 thing. But we're going to have two different factories here, evenly spaced, that are these little twinsies. Like that. And that. Is it too soon? I mean... <laughs> okay. And we got... One factory here. I guess the real question is going to be how much space we have here. This is what we have to judge it off of. What runs us into the wall? Probably right here. Can I do this? That runs me right up into this wall. And if I put this... Okay, and there's little to no overlap there. The very corner might overlap. So there's our edge on this one. This is how much this is how much space we have to work with, and then we go vertical, basically. Uh, mentioning them as inspiration is definitely not in poor taste. Okay, cool. So we will. Um... So four wide. This will be a four wide factory, and we'll have two four wide factories, and they'll mirror each other. I think this should work. Our in-game memorial here. I can't run on things I haven't placed, strangely enough. There. Like that. Seems good. Did I overlap that? I didn't. Okay, good. And so we go two wide here. And this is the width of our twin factories, we'll call them. The twin... The, the copper twins. The copper twin factories. Okay. So. Um, the bottom floor will be where we deliver the copper f upwards from. And the floor above will be where we actually place our factories. Okay, yes, I have an idea on how I think I can make this work. Um, so to get up to the floor above. Usually three is the height I use. 
there on a half slab. I'm thinking things through as I build here. Which with a half slab. I could have the center. Yes, yes, yes. I think I know how I want this to work. I want this to be like that. That'll give me a half that'll give me a full. Does that give me a half slab of extra space over here? I feel like it should. But I might have misjudged this. Let me see. Is that correct? Hmm. Okay. What I'm trying to do is split the difference here. I feel like maybe this didn't quite like I needed to go. I don't want this to be right on top, evenly lined up. I want it to be split the difference because one constructor fits on one slab, and that would give me a half slab to the right of space. So I think I almost did this right, but I think maybe it needs to be there. Did that split the difference? I think that might split the difference. They're Copper Twins, Pollux, and Castor. <laughs> yeah! I don't know what those are. are. Those like moons of Jupiter or something? They sound like moons of a planet or something. Yes, I think this splits the difference like I want it to. Is that how much space as I have? I have this much space. And so I can have... Uh, if I want to use... Uh, the walkways to get around like I did before... Man, this is gonna be this is gonna be tight. It's gonna be get it right, get it tight. Do one. Two. Three. Four. I could do up to six with space to move around them. Up to six constructors on each side. Okay, okay. I think that should be doable. Where's my uh, walkways here? There. Half slab, there. This guy, nope, not that guy. That guy. There, is that right? And that leaves a half half slab of space there. I think that's right. Okay. That would also leave me room. Uh, I want to do my walkway down the center, so... Half slab here. There we go, and that would leave me room for my walkway down the center here. Is that right? That's what we did before, I think, with one space between in our other factories, and this kind of goes through, and I was cool with that. Yes. Yes. I think I like this design. Semi-mirrors what we did before. Will I have actual room to get around here with walls in the way? Let's find out. if I can make a walkway that goes around here. It looks like this will work, actually. I'm not sure if I'll have room on the other side, especially since I have inputs that I have to do.
Yeah, if I did inputs there, putting a walkway around the outside looks like it won't really work, but let's find out, I guess. Are these things going outside the wall? They aren't. Nice. Okay. Yeah, if I do... Hmm. Am I going to be okay with not having a catwalk around the outside? I think I'm going to be okay with that. I'll allow ourselves to go to the edge here, but we won't we won't go out we won't go around the outside, round the outside. Where's our corner? Our corner is right there. Okay. That'll give us a decent amount of room to move around. Why is the first floor so tall? Um, because I want the floors to be even in height. And the floor with the constructors needs to be three tall, I believe. Three tall gives me room to get on top of a constructor and not bump my head. So that's why I have it that tall. For my own satisfaction. Touch me, and then I'll thump 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 satisfaction. So I think I'm going to do two factories like this. One will be for copper wire. Although I could do deuterium wire. But we're delivering copper. And it's 30 per minute. That one's double, 60 per minute. Oh, wait, no, that's copper. That's deuterium wire. Uh, deuterium wire is 120 per minute. Oh, man. Have I Im immediately changed my mind? That I want to do this as Caterium Wire? Um, you know what? I think, I think I'm going to start with Copper Wire, and I might do a separate Caterium Wire factory supplying wire to a different factory, because I'm going to turn these wires into cables. Is there other... What, what all do we need copper for? Is it just copper sheets? And wire? If it's just copper sheets and wire... We have so much copper coming in. I think I, I, I think I am going to do regular wire for this. More machines means more power. Requirement. But I don't have to get caterium. And caterium I want to use for quick wire. And my belt even supports 6x120. Um, I could do 480 per minute and I could split belts. So I would have to use some split belts, but I could. But uh, that is a good point. Uh, I'm, I'm going to need to once I get... Oops. Once I get... Um, I'm going to need a lot of wire for some future builds, that's for sure. But for now, we're going to go with this. This is going to be copper wire. Our twin copper towers are going to be copper wire and copper sheets. So, let's get the second one built here. I basically want these to mirror each other. So... That... Sad trombone. <laughs> yes, sad trombone. Is there an alternate recipe for cables using deuterium wire? I think there is, actually, isn't there? That I just unlocked, right? This one's just the copper, just wire. Um, fused wire is copper ingots and caterium ingots for 90 per minute. That's kind of in between the caterium one for 120 and the copper one for 30 a minute. Uh, is there a cable one here? 
Maybe I don't have an alternate cable. And fused Caterium is, is Caterium and Copper, interestingly. I think I'm going to do the basic ones for now, I think. Yeah, copper sheets, 20 to 10 a minute. There are separate copper sheets one. I think there's like a steamed copper sheets in the refinery or something. I don't think, I'm not sure if I unlocked that one yet or not. Yeah, steamed copper sheets. That one requires water. But it's done in a refinery, and that's going to make this tower super tall. 22.5 a minute for 22.5 a minute copper, compared to 10 a minute for 20 copper. Honestly, the fused, the steamed one looks really good to use for this. For efficiency of copper usage. Um, how much copper do we have a minute? 960. 960 a minute divided by, this uses 20. And that uses 15. So, 35. 960 divided by 35. I can basically make 28... Machines. 35. 28 times 2 machines. So I can do 28 of copper wire and 28 of copper sheets, I think, with this. Is that right? Is my brain math working right? Because 35 is one machine of copper um, wire and one machine of copper sheets. That is a lot of machines. I know I do have water nearby, so I could do that. But I'm going to be making so many machines already with the amount of copper I can send. I don't even know that I want to do full 28 of each. Um, if I want to do this in increments of 6, because that's what I have room for. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6. I can do one floor of 12 and another floor of 12 and do 24 of each. And I'll have a little bit of leftover copper. I think I want to do that. And that'll also make these towers tall, which is what I want. I want them to be these twin copper towers. So I think that's what I'm going to do. I'm going to do... I'm not going to do the more advanced recipes. I might do more advanced recipes later. But for this starter build, I'm going to do 24 constructors of each. And we'll have four floors. Is that right? Four floors? No. Six floors. One floor that delivers the copper. One floor that builds a thing, a floor above that receives the output, then a floor above that delivers more copper, a floor above that makes them... Okay, this is going to be a complicated build. <laughs> uh, how am I doing this? I'm doing this like this. These are definitely going to be tall towers with my build plan here. Logistics floors might be nice here. What is a logistics floors? What do you mean by that? Can I blueprint this with my current level 1 blueprint maker thing? Man, I really want the level 2 blueprint guy so if I could blueprint one two three is basically four wide okay, I have this I might be able to blueprint this with my current blueprint thing but let me go see I'm gonna go see if I can make my life easier by blueprinting this build. Uh, a short floor between machine floors for conveyors and splitters. Yeah, yeah, that that's a good idea. Maybe make my floor in between that's delivering copper a uh, skinnier floor. I did just get a bunch of random stuff from... Uh, 
bunch of random heavy modular frames. Uh, what is this? Is it rubber? That I don't have on my bar. Uh, rubber. If I spend some time making some computers, I could maybe get this going. Uh, I'm looking for rubber. Where's rubber? This. I have 10 computers in storage. Um... Okay, uh, let me go do something. I think I can get level two blueprints by the end of the day. I think I can use my blueprint mark one for what I'm building. But I have a, um, I have a manufacturer making heavy modular frames. I'm gonna swap that over to computers and manually feed that. And by the end of the day, I might be able to unlock blueprints mark two. That would be really nice. And I try to crank 19th. I don't know what that means, sorry. Try to crank 19th. Mm, I feel like I'm missing some context to that uh, that question. 19th of what? My smaller blueprints are 3x3. Three my, my tier one blueprint is a four by four, I think. Okay. That ran out of modular frames. How many heavy modular frames did we get out of that? Not bad, not bad. I'm gonna swap this over. Um, if I just, if I swap when there's already stuff in there, what happens? Does it just destroy the things that were in there? I don't know. But this needs circuit boards, cables, and plastic, which is none of this stuff. So... Uh, circuit boards, cables, and plastic. Cables... Plastic... And I should have a full thing of circuit boards, right? I'm I am automating those. There we go. Okay. So that. Cables. And circuit boards. There we go. This is my quick and dirty. I need these things. So, uh, 40 per minute plastic, 20 per minute cables, 10 per minute circuit boards. Okay. All right. So, how much? How much plastic did I give you? A couple stacks. All right. Do that. Uh, I need a whole bunch more cables, I think. I think I have a thing of cables and plastic over here. I can just go grab and throw in there for that. Try and set up a three by three constructor since I'm building in multiples of three. Yes, I'm, I'm gonna I'm gonna try to set up a blueprint for. a blueprint for this 3x3 constructor build, and I can use this with the inserters, hopefully. Yeah, inserters, uh, whatever they're called. Get that, and then we'll get some of these guys. This. All of that. So I'll take one of those. Let me go grab the plastic I have in storage over here. I actually have way more plastic after the last stream build a plastic, but I have some over here that I can grab. And I might even have some extra circuit boards up here. Let me see. Whew, baby. Take all. Nice. This will be... This is good. This will this will automatically, automatically make me a bunch of computers for a while. And I can put a 
temporary dimensional storage, actually, for this as well. I should do. Do that. This is the temporary permanent temporary build, by the way, chat. Temporary permanent temporary build. Okay. That plastic is backed up over there. It's a good sign for me grabbing a whole big stack of it. Take all. Beautiful. This is nice. I've been needing to get computers and heavy modular frames. Heavy modular frames, we just found a bunch in our explorations earlier, which kind of jump-started my ability to do this. Okay. And plastic is here. Take one stack for me. And then we do a dimensional storage here. There we go. And that'll make us some computers for a bit. Okay. Was there something else I wanted to do over here? Let me actually... A bunch of junk I have in these storage chests I actually wanted to have available. So... Like, if I put these slugs in here... I don't know how high slugs stack in here. Do that. Uh, mycelium I want access to. Yellow slugs. Bacon agoric. There. What else? Yes, more of this. Do, do, do. Gas Nobilis we can throw in there. Any other random, random things? Hey, there's my inhaler. My inhaler! Um, okay, that's good. And I think... I think that's all I wanted to do over here. Is get those computers going. And they'll make them... Because they're going into here... I can just keep an eye, and once we hit 50 computers in here, I'll be able to unlock, or 100 computers, I will be able to unlock Blueprints Mark II by the end of the stream, hopefully. Hopefully I put enough stuff there to get 100 over the course of the stream. We, we might. Might, maybe, maybe might. Uh, it didn't take me long. What? <laughs> to go back to permanent temporary? Well, that's, that's not... I leave it over there so it's far away from my permanent base, because it's temporary, permanent, permanent, temporary. Uh, Schrodinger's factory. Temporary and permanent in superposition at the same time. This is true. This is true. Alright, now I'm going to try to build... I'm going to try to build my, like, a 3x3 three three blueprint for what I'm putting together here. I also want to do the bottom floor with the inputs. So... How do I want to set this up? Because uh, I can use the height to my advantage as well. Ceiling. So if... Let me think this through. Uh, I'm trying to decide if I want to change the floor here. One, two, three. Okay. So with this, can I place with this with this setup? Can I do this and place? this. Yes, I can. And I can do that on both sides. Good. So now I need a, I need a ceiling. Um, I 
said a ceiling. A wall. Wall is a completely different thing than a ceiling. Um... Now, I only want to blueprint part of this because I don't want to blueprint my ladder to get up and down. I think. So... I think I blueprint a bunch of this and then I deconstruct the part that I don't want to be part of the blueprint, I think is what I want to do. Because what I also want to blueprint is the, the walkways between them. So... Uh, so we want the constructors like this. Is that right? Yes. One, two, three. And one, two, three. And then we want walkways where are my walkways right here uh, passing over them there the walkway down the middle because we want this to be repeatable is what we want the Walkways between, between could be a good title for a satisfactory DLC or a thriller novel. <laughs> okay, nice, nice. Okay, so I don't think I want... I don't want the outside walkways is the question. Because for some of my factories, I did have outside walkways. Others I don't. I think I start without the outside walkways. Because for this factory, we're not using them. And so this is going to be this is going to be output. How did I do output? I did output up to the next floor. Hmm. I feel like I can do the inputs well here, but I don't know that I can do the outputs well. I think I only need mark one inputs for these guys. Uh, or a thriller novel, The Walkways Between. Beautiful. <laughs> pretty good, pretty good. Okay. My other question is, do I even want these bottom... I probably don't even want these bottom platforms. I just want the actual inserters. I don't want the walls. I'm going to just want the second floor of this, I think. Although I'm not exactly sure how doing a blueprint where it's elevated, if this will work well or not. Oh man, doing this up in the air, I probably need... The problem is I can't have the uh, inputs correctly set up if I don't have this floating in the air. So is this going to screw up? I'm going to have to figure out how a floating blueprint even works, I guess. Um... I'm gonna have these half walkways. That actually makes this work out pretty well. So like that. And then the outputs would be going up to the next floor. How high would that be? Be that high. There. Want it to be on top of this ladder. There. Okay, yes, this should work. And the outputs are going to be coming to uh, I think, and again, I think tier one outputs are going to be enough for most of these. Is it lat level? Let me check if that's right. Uh, uh, perfect. That, that, that spacing. Okay, good. There. There. 
there. There. And there. Um, and then I probably want mergers on these guys. Man, maybe I do want to just have the floors be part of this. Maybe I do just want to actually have the floors how I'm going to have them set up. Probably do, to be honest. Um, probably do, 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 do want the floors to be part of this, because then I can put my mergers... Because usually I want the outputs to be coming a certain direction. That, yes. Uh, can you make it so the blueprints are stackable and not just tileable? Stackable and not just tileable. I'm not sure if I quite understand that description. Like I could, I could. I guess you mean I could stack the blueprints on top of each other. I'm not sure how I would. I probably have to do two different. Maybe I. What I can do is. Do two different blueprints. The base level and then the stackable level, maybe. One of them that can be stacked, one of them that can be, I think what you're describing as tiled. Um, now the issue with this is I don't really have space for storage. But once I've set this up, I can add an extra layer outside of it with hopefully storage available. Yeah, exactly what I watch FTL said. Two blueprints that go on top of each other to modulate the level, something like that. So these go in. Okay. So this will be all the outputs. I'm not gonna output it to anything because I don't have room for storage, I don't think. Let me see if I'm if that's right or not. If I were to put a storage right here, is there is there room for that? I guess no. Yeah. It'd have to be something like this, and then, then the outputs would be all funky. So I think I'm going to have to do the storage separately. Um, so this would be... Do I want to put it in the walls is the next question. I feel like I don't even want to put it in the walls. The walls help me figure out the height. I feel like I don't even want the hall, the walls for this. Because this would be the base design. Uh, actually, I even want to get the uh, splitters to deliver. So coming out this way so I want the the, the uh, inputs to go in this way so we put in the splitters like this yeah power poles good good reminder yeah we'll definitely have to do power poles as well I'm doing mark one belts for all these because I think that's what we'll need not many of these things does each ma machine need more than 60 of the raw material a minute. Usually like 20 or 30 a minute that it needs. And we do the input belts at Mark 3s. You no, know maybe I do these at Mark 4s. These guys at Mark 4s, depending on how much it will take. Okay, so... Uh, let's get power poles, and then I'll think through how we're going to make a modular version of this. Um, so I'm not going to worry about the input of the power pole. I'm not going to worry about that. Uh, 
Um, yeah, and if I make this modular, we want this one to be right there, going there, there, and then it can go to the next one. And then we'll have power input going to this side, that guy, and then same thing over here. We'll connect this one to the next one over. So we'll have to input power from the wall power that will be in there to that and that. And then those will be all plugged in. Uh, and I'm purposefully not putting the walkways around. Because depending on the factory, I won't have room. And the factory I'm currently building that I'm designing this for definitely won't have room for that. So I think... I think this is good for the start. There will be an input belt of the raw material. Um, I'll have to set what these are building. I'm not going to do that now because it'll, this is going to be the default build for a lot of my factories. We have the belts incoming. Belts outgoing. And then we'll have to plug in storage. But this will be the base floor. Let's save this blueprint. I think I like this as my base blueprint for our constructor factory. All right, so we call this uh, constructor base floor. This is first floor of constructor factory. Uh, and I'm going to use uh, Instructor as the icon for it. Save. And then... How do I put this into a new... I have to, have to go into my blueprint designer. Uh, this... I go into blueprints. I want to move this. Uh, new category. Let's make a new category. Category is empty. How do I name it? Category. Edit. Here we go. Constructor factory. Apply. And then can I move this into Constructor Factory? I'm having such a hard time when I do this. Uh, I think I have to like edit this and tell it to... I think maybe I have to do a subcategory and that's why I couldn't do it before. Add subcategory. There it is. There we go. Constructor base floor. Uh, this is just cons constructor, and I might do one for assembler or something. If I do a second floor of machines. How will you get the raw materials up for the next floor of machines? It's a good question. That's what I need to think about as I consider how to make this modular, because this will work for the base floor, and I can kind of stack it. I can, I can place them in order. But if I want to put a floor on top of this... I almost think, to make it easy, this just is my modular build. Like, I stack this on top. I stack this entire thing, and my inputs will come into there. I feel like I feel like the best way to do this is to make this be my modular build. Like I can put this one, uh, multiple of these in a row. I can I get six in a row, and then on top of this floor, I put in a floor, 
and then stack this entire thing on top of it to do another floor. What I might do is change the output of the storage so that the storage is in the, on the same floor. Hmm. Because what I'm thinking about is if, if the storage is on the top floor of this one and then I stack another floor on top of this, would I want to get the storage from the one on top down to this floor or not? Or would I just have two different floors of storage? Like, if this is the top floor here and I want to just stack this entire thing on top of this, would I want the storage from the one above to come through the logistics floor down to this storage floor? I think I want to go build this in action and see how it's going to work um, before I decide that. Because putting this together might make me decide how I want to stack this. Um, before we do that, though, it is break time. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to have GG Cookie Time, our second blueprint ever. Uh, Sam Stretch use restroom. And we'll go try to put this in place in our new factories uh, after we take our break. So y'all enjoy chair, add time, grab a drink, grab a snack, and that's what we'll do when we come back and uh, keep working on this. This is fun working on blueprints because hopefully this will make my future constructor factories much faster. See you in a bit, my friends. <laughs> 